Hey guys and welcome back to the channel, I'm Dazzling Dave and this is a bit of a Premier League football uh, vlog where I'm going to look at 8 2019-2020 Premier League rule changes. Rule change number one for the 2019-2020 Premier League season, substitutions. In 1995, some of you, a lot of you, will remember that Eric Cantona played for Manchester United and he literally did a karate kick into the crowd. Obviously that was real attention at the time and the rule was changed the following year so people had to go off um, to the tunnel. We all know that especially time wasting has become a thing in the Premier League so they've changed it back because people took so long if they were substituted from one side of the pitch to the other it wasted so much time so it's actually gone back to how it was in 1995 where a player if he's substituted has to come off the pitch by their nearest point and then walk away around to the tunnel so expect to see players walking around the outside and hopefully there's going to be no more karate kicks number two free kicks and defensive walls. As you probably know, um, that lots of times the strikers tend to go in the defensive wall. That's all been stopped from the 2019-2020 season. In fact, attackers have now got to be at least one metre away from the defensive wall. They won't be able to be ingle mingled. Basically, because there's lots of fouls committed, it's really difficult for the referee to spot. And that's all gone from the 2019 2020 Premier League season. Number three is drop balls. Drop balls from next season are going to be a thing of the past. Basically the last team to kick the ball or to touch the ball are going to be given the ball back. It's already kind of happened anyway, it's just being made official. Number four, it's goalkeepers and penalties. Um, this is quite an interesting one. We, we did see a little bit of this in the, uh, the Women's World Cup um, with the penalties and the goalkeepers. Basically, they can't touch the frame of the goal. They can't move. They can't stand behind the line. And they've got to have at least one foot on the goal line as well. Goalkeepers, anyway, have sort of been flouting the rules for a little while. They can actually get a yellow card and a red card. So, you know, these rules are just to try and reinforce that. It's interesting, though. It'll be really interesting to see how this particular rule change pans out. So, rule change number five is goal kicks. Now, you can actually, the keeper now doesn't have to kick the ball outside of the, of the, uh, the penalty box for it to be in play. The ball doesn't have to go out, so you can literally pass it to one of your defenders or, or, or whoever in the box. The thing that I'm not really sure of, and maybe you, one of you guys out there might know the answer to this, if you're an attacking forward, does that mean you can go into the box and intercept the pass? I don't know. If you know the answer to that, leave a, leave a comment below. And obviously, if you're brand new around here, please consider subscribing, um, hit the bell and uh, smash a like on the video. Number six, accidental handball for the attacking side. This is interesting. Accidental handball is still gonna be the same um, for the defending side, i.e. if the ball's down the hand and if the ball hits the ball to hand at high speed. But for the attacking side, goals will be disallowed now if the ball accidentally goes in off the hand or you actually accidentally create a goal scoring opportunity off your hand with the advent of VAR it means that they can spot that and pick it out really really quickly so you can expect to see a lot of goals disallowed in those circumstances in the fourth coming season. Number seven celebrations so a player can get booked for celebrating a goal even if it's disallowed probably one of the most self-explanatory things anyway and probably the most boring change but basically the goal scored and var disallows it they can still get booked even if the play is taken back to before the goal and finally number eight cards for coaches referees will now be able to show red and yellow cards for coaches and their assistant coaches etc on the touchline just in the same way as they do for players so there you have it i really hope you've enjoyed the vlog give us a thumbs up if you have and why don't you leave your thoughts in the comments below on what your favorite rule changes or 
any of them that you do not like or you like. Also, why don't you leave uh, the name of the team that you support? It doesn't matter whether it's the Premier League or whatever team it is around the world as well. Be interested in that. And if you're brand new around here, please consider subscribing. And if you hit the bell button, you'll always be first to be notified for any of my content, uh, whether it's football related or my life as well in general. So yeah, from me, Dazzling Dave, all the best to you guys. And let's have a fantastic season, whoever you support.